welcome back to the People's Duchess channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. If you are back, welcome back. Okay, so I'm loving this new like streaming thing because it's just, it's so great. I don't know why I hadn't like discovered it earlier, but I'm starting to master the dialogue of streaming and I'm able to just kind of speak without having to really think about that. It's that coastal slang and I, I am working on it, but it's great and I love the streaming aspect of this. So we're gonna jump right into today's stream. So I am not much of a fall girly. I really prefer the summer. I think that the only great thing about fall is the winter wardrobe, right? So the fall wardrobe is like this whole big deal and I get it. I love a good coat. I love a good boot. I am not against fall moments as far as fashion is concerned, but I, I do not like snow. I am not a fan of snow. Many of you know I'm Canadian. Um, the winters out there were not too pleasant and I just am not a fan. I'm not a fan. That snow, it, it's pretty to look at, but it's not good to be in. It hurts, not pleasant. Yeah, deceptive, I'd say. But we are gonna get into some really great fall looks. So the fall color wheel is out, ladies dress and act accordingly okay we've seen all of the winter wear kind of fall palette a lot of cool tones this year as contrast to last year where there was a lot of like jeweled tones that burgundy was a huge hit when they went to i think it was um ps5 i'm not sure the the number absolutely stunning and this year We've had some of those moments, but not yet like a coat moment, not yet like a fall coat moment. The last, well, no, actually, that's not true. We did have a coat moment just last week with her Carolina Herrera tweed herringbone coat, which people are still talking about. So that was the beginning of the fall wardrobe. But really, we haven't seen too much of her this fall, just the Invictus Games and then that. And of course, with the Invictus Games, she was wearing primarily just like summer prep and things like that. So for this um, episode, I just kind of want to, you know, do a little retrospective into her best coats because if one thing about Megan is true, it is that she can style her dignified behind off. She has this knack for colors and palettes. And of course she does. She's an actor. She's a professionally trained actor. So with that comes the ability to really read a scene and understand what clothes do for the scene, what the look of how you look does for the scene. So she's very knowledgeable about how she's gonna look against the backdrop of whatever it is that she's going to do. So one of my favorite, absolute favorite lines that she likes to wear is Sen Taylor, I think it's called, Sen Taylor or Sen Taylor. I'm sorry if I'm kind of butchering that name, but it is such a lovely coat. Um, she wore this red, um, St. Taylor in 2019, she was pregnant with Archie. I forget what event this was that they were going to, but oh my gosh, she paired it with the purple dress and red heels and her brown, I think it's a Gabriella, I wanna say Gabriella Hurst, little satin or leather bag, but it looks so good and she looked amazing. She She's one of those women who look really, really, really good when she gets pregnant she fills out and not that that's a big deal or anything like that but the glow is just amazing she looked so good when she was pregnant her pregnancy style was just really good it was a lot of like coats and um obviously her carolina herrera that blue pattern dress that she wore to morocco that was really pretty that red i think it was a uh, givenchy if i'm not mistaken in morocco when they landed it was just really great 
So I love that. I love this brown coat that she wore in, I believe this was in Sydney. It was a Martin Grant coat. Really pretty. She had this white, um, like a pencil dress underneath, sleeveless, just hair glossy, looking amazing. This was, they had just announced that she was expecting, that they were expecting. So obviously that glow, she just looked amazing. This is probably one of her best style moments. And then the moment down the stairs was used in their documentary. So this is obviously a really great, like they looked amazing. I liked all the coats that she wore on that trip. So, so there were a couple other like camel and cream and, and beige type of totes, um, neutrals that she wore, but uh, we'll move right along and come back to that if we need to. The next coat that I really love, and I, I wish she would bring back this color on her because she looks amazing in burgundy. So I love the Burgundy Club Monaco dress and coat combination that she wore to meet the women of the Grenfell Community Kitchen. And this was just a wonderful event. She looked amazing. Again, pregnant with Archie. And I just could not, I could not with everything. All the way down to the booties. They were so cute. But I love this color on her. These like darker fall burgundies and wine colors look really good against her skin. So I love that one. Another one that I really, really loved was that um, double faced wool blend coat. I think she wore that on the first engagement, if I am not mistaken. Uh, don't quote me on this, but it was like one of the very first engagements before she even became official, right? She This was prior to them getting married. It was a Burberry coat. It was kind of a tartan feel. They visited Scotland back in 2018 and it was just lovely. It was absolutely gorgeous. She had her hair down. She was looking completely fresh. She had a Strathbury bag. Everything sold out. People were just like, in love it was nice and boxy and warm and i just absolutely adore this coat i guess this is the one thing that i'll say that they had faith in her because prior to getting married they had a lot of faith in her or perhaps maybe it was all just harry saying no she, she can come along i'm not sure i'm not sure how that worked itself out but obviously the palace had to go along with it so she they had a lot of faith in her that she could do this and I mean you only need to listen to Meghan Markle speak for five minutes to know that she can do pretty much anything. So they had a lot of faith in her to be doing these walkabouts and events um, prior to them getting married and I love that for them. Um, moving right along. So another one of the coats that I really loved but it's kind of a controversial coat just in terms of the styling and everything that she had it put together with that day. So this was in March, again, previous to their wedding. She looked really cute, but I, I feel like this coat is underrated and I too overlook this coat because I overlook a lot of things that are pre-freedom. And this is one of them. This is probably around the time where she was starting to see that things were not as anticipated and people were actually hoping not so well for her that kind of stuff so I can imagine like her mindset and I don't know anyways so that's that's where I come in but I, I really do like this coat I think it's really cute um, it's a tailored look it's a more professional look for her so moving right along to one of my favorite coats on her, the Mai. I love this coat. It is so easy and breezy and quiet luxury, elegant. I love it. Just really cute paired with what she's wearing, which is, um, you know, a very neutral palette with a velvet pump, very beautiful absolutely gorgeous she looked amazing hair pulled back in her signature messy bun makeup on point 
just really good looking um, here. And I think that the number one coat that we have here is the Megan. The Megan coat um, by Line, the label. It's the coat that she wore for her engagement announcement. She looked really, really, really good. Harry, I don't even know what this look is on Harry. I love this picture because like Megan is just like, hey guys, what's up? And Harry's like, yeah, what's going on? Hi, how you doing? But this interview obviously was the interview that started it all. And I love this coat. It is so cute. And this coat obviously has been searched for everything from the asymmetrical line to the big comfy double breast to the flaps. Everything about this coat is just so cute. And then you pair it with her green dress that she wore underneath. I forget what label that dress was. Was it Stella McCartney? I don't remember. But just everything was just very unfussy. It was very simple and clean and just true to her style. And I love this about her style. Everything that she does is very much sourced ethically, sustainable, and even when it's high-end brands, from time to time she'll throw in some Givenchy, she'll throw in a, you know, Stella McCartney, a Victoria Beckham. It's still pieces that resonate. It's still women designers. It's still something that speaks to the event or the atmosphere in which she's in. So I can always appreciate that she dresses so well for the engagement that she's on. She researches ahead of time. She knows exactly what's to anticipate. Megan is the kind of person I would not be surprised if she like looked up the farmer's almanac before she went and then like was like oh no it's gonna rain let's let me, let me pack my wellingtons she's so thorough and i i look up the weather i still look up the weather when i go places out, even out of town even just a couple towns over i'll be like look if it's gonna be raining in lake tahoe let me know so i can be appropriate dress appropriately bring the right you know attire and that's only a couple of hours from my home but that can be a you know very big difference if you don't anticipate and plan so megan is a big planner she's a big anticipator so when i saw this picture i just thought to myself wow she just looks like a million dollars and she came in and you know she's very fresh faced here and this is the beginning the beginning right so she like really introduced herself on such a great footing i mean she looks absolutely stunning the interview itself was also very telling you really got to know her. You really got to know them as a couple. Very telling, their interview. And I really loved that that white coat. And I love that it's named after her. But um, yeah, those are my favorite coats. There's one, there's a couple of honorable mentions. It's the Tipped Top Coat by J. Crew. Super cute. This was, again, before they were married. She paired that with some black skinny jeans and then some black pumps and the thick bold white line piping throughout this coat with her bag i think that's another strathbury bag if i'm not mistaken let me know in the comments i i could be wrong but i am pretty sure that that's a strathbury um but yeah she just again looked amazing very fresh face very just woke up like this i love the look later pictures of her with just the turtleneck that she has on underneath the coat super cute this was the international women's day march 2018 and again just super cute oh another coat that we don't really see or talk about much because this was prior to them even being announced was the biomoto by makaj so she really likes this brand of coat and this was at the invictus games opening ceremony before they were even like official official she was wearing this like all burgundy outfit with this burgundy macage coat leather or perhaps um, not real leather i'm not sure it doesn't really doesn't really clarify it here but yeah she looks absolutely amazing she has 
a serious smoky eye going on here and her and Harry didn't sit together so nobody really like paid much attention to this particular outing. She was just, you know, another actress in a sea of people that came to see that Invictus Games and the next time around it was just full on PDA and it was wonderful to see. Megan looked amazing at that time too, wearing her husband's shirt and ripped jeans. Very casual, but very crisp, pretty professional, her usual style. So this Invictus Games, which was the year prior to that, was really her introduction, a, a soft launch, if you will, because no one knew it at the time, but there she was looking really bright. And of course, this was right up her alley because she has done some UFO tours and she's definitely done some USF um, veterans stuff. Um, so she's really in tune with this and I, I think that her and Harry share this. She's not just a military wife, she's also someone who has volunteered with the military and has done so for years prior to meeting Harry. So this was really fun and I love this outfit, I love this coat, I love the contrast. Something I really love about the way that she styles herself is that she knows the importance of styling she has a lot of power in her styling and she can bring out designers and highlight different people and it's really great and that's what i think gives this whole thing like a cause it's not just her wearing some clothes right i mean it's really obviously i think it's also very impactful i mean her wardrobe is not just like oh she's wearing this or that i think that a lot of these brands are doing their very most to like help the universe that's a wonderful idea to give a platform to brands and designers and individuals and countries and nations who are trying to do better by the world and each other and that's why I follow her and Harry because I would also like to contribute to the zeitgeist. I would like to do better every single day. I would like to bring quality content that isn't harmful to anyone. We talk about some very deep concerning things from time to time here too. So I understand the audience and I just want everyone to take a mental health break as much as possible and I think it's wonderful I'll, I'll give my personal opinion I think it's wonderful that people who do good things get rewarded with good things and people who don't do such great things are also seeing the consequences of that I'll say that and I'll kind of leave it at that because it's just for me, I have so many other things I want to get to and like I promised you the other day, so much more content because of this new streaming side. I, I don't even understand how I'm this late to streaming. It has been around since forever and I have streamed before. I've streamed on Twitch. I streamed the Oprah interview. So I'm not like brand new. I just, I don't know. I had like a one and a half year brain freeze. <laughs> And now I'm back on it and I love it and I just absolutely love the idea of like being able to like get off of work and then give you guys really great content and I promise I will continue doing that because now the streaming aspect of this has made everything so much more simplified. So thank you so much for joining. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about the fall and winter palette. This is very cool tones. A lot of neutrals which I can always appreciate but what do you think let me know in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye